Hello and welcome to another how-to video from Burstech. In this video we'll be showing you how to install BT Logan Raja 6 and set up a log source to load data from an ISO 2006 server. Okay, so I've gone and uh, downloaded the software and extracted to the desktop and opened up the file. Here we see the setup.exe. As with all of our programs, please make sure that you disable the antivirus prior to running the setup.exe file. And one thing to note, uh, because we will be installing on a separate server than the ISA server, we need to make sure that the ISA server will accept inputs. Um, in this case, we've created a rule, Microsoft SIFS rule so to access the log analyzer share. And if we go in and look at the uh, logging that we're doing, you'll see that it is in W3C extended file format, uh, and go in and look, and here is the isologs folder, and it is shared. Okay, once we have verified that the uh, logging is occurring and the folder is shared and our rule is set in the firewall, we can go back to our server and run the setup.exe program. Okay, and go ahead and click next at the welcome wizard read through the end user license agreement and select next. Accept the default installation folder or you can make the change. We're going to go ahead and do a recommended install for this one. So click next. Now you notice that the recommended install has the complete option selected and they are grayed out. If you were going to be using installing this as a client to be able to connect to another log analyzer machine um, then you would have to do the custom installation. Just go ahead and click uh, next at this screen. We're not installing it with WebFilter, so it'll be stuck in the standalone. Click next. The account that we're going to be use is going. We want to make sure it has access to the ISA server and the log directory. So we'll go ahead and pu plug in our account here. The next screen is going to give us the option to set up our log sources. So we're going to uncheck that for now. Go ahead and click next recommend doing the control list update every day. Go ahead and click next and click install to com start the uh, file installation. Once the installation completes, go ahead and click the finish. Leave this check box to run the log analyzer management console. And we can see the first place it takes us into is the log info sources. Now there are two default log info sources, uh, so we're going to go ahead and delete these to start off with. And then we're going to go ahead and right click and select new and log info source. And then select our server and click test. And it says that we did find a log file in the folder. Go ahead and click OK. Apply. OK again. And you are now ready to run reports. This concludes this video on installing Log Analyzer 6 and setting up a log source to load data from the ISA 2006 server. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful and encourage any feedback that you may have that will help us to continue providing quality training videos.